Hello, the world of YouTube. How are we all doing? I'm finally back at it after a few months off. But yeah, so far I've had one bream on a pop up. Mm. Good that, innit? I went out on bank holiday Monday, just gone. Took the old boy for his first ever time. Got a bream. And then come here, within an hour of putting the rod out, I had a bream on a pop up. So I changed over to a snowman. DNA baits F7 coated in salmon oil with a PV pop up. Try and see if I can do something different. I was talking to a couple of blokes around and they're all using solid bags for the bream. Ooh, mate boys in over yonder. But yeah, I'm down here at Bain Valley Fisheries again. Thought I'd bring the bro bring the bivvy for a change. But the ultra brolly will be going up for sale shortly. Just depends how I get on. I might, I don't know. I don't know whether to get rid of it or not. I'm hoping some of you lot can help me decide. I've got plenty of space in here now. I've now got a pillar on the bed chair. New bed chair as well. So, yeah, just got to see how it goes. Yeah, it's now the 11th of May. I've not had a carp since November, I think. That was a 16 pound ghost koi from Water Meadows. So, yeah, it's not really going as planned. But the sun's shining, ish, so to speak. Yeah, I've had one bream with the old boy, Monday. I've had one today. Can't seem to get away from the bloody things. But no, next, next month, I think I'll be down at the A1 pits on pit six. I think. Putting these rods to the test. Seeing how far I can wang a three and a half ounce lead. I went with the brother-in-law last month onto pit five. Fishing totally alien to me. He was using fucking maggots. Because I'm an out and out boiling man. Prefer me mat Fermi boilers to me maggots, but just got to see how things work out. But that bream I had was on a running rig. Mm. So I took that off and put me snowman on. It's basically on. Where was it? Where's it gone? There. That's when the other rod goes. I've got a little PVA bag of crayfish mini mix with a. Dumbbell cork of after from DNA S7. That's on a size four curve shank from Fox with Fox Camatex semi stiff with the Camatex with the edges anti tangle sleeve. I'll try and get that a bit better for you. That bloody sun's not helping. That really don't help. Never mind. This to try. Yeah, that's what I had. Oh, hang on, I'll move you over here. See what we like if we go over here. What we like over here. You can see that. Yeah. That's what I had the bream on. Absolutely bloody marvellous. Right. Let's really look at that rig. Yeah, and I've got a little bit of silicon sleeve on there as well. Just on the hook. Age hooking, I suppose, so to speak, I don't know. Not really noticed anything. And then I've got a German rig with a mesh bag of crayfish mini mix with another wafter. Gonna try that later, maybe. Yeah, there's not been a lot happening apart from I've been at work all the time. 
working all week, kids three three weekends a month, one month fishing, one weekend fishing, so mm, really not going very well. And I have to say, these fox, black and orange polarized glasses, they're comfy, they make you look good for a change. And they are bloody awesome. I've had them um, four year, I think. And they're pretty good. But now I've had, I've actually had something to eat for a change. I've had three sausage rolls. Got some bacon later. But yeah. Right, I'll let me see get up. Bloody hell. Too bad for this. Sitting on the floor, malarkey. Oh, I couldn't see out there. Move this way a little bit. See there. Right, we're back in a minute. I don't know how well you can see, but mate boy over there, he's just had a bream and weighed it. Not quite sure why. But yeah, well, got to have him sat there. Don't know how well you can see him, but he's there. But yeah, the sun's out, somewhere above my head. Uh, there, ish. Somewhere up there, the sun's out, shining. I've literally just opened the rear vents on the bivvy. I'm going to get a bit of light shining in. Just let it air a little bit. I'm actually hoping to get a bream on tape while I'm talking to you lot. But, yeah, can't see that happening. Let me charge it. Yeah, like most of you lot would already know, it's already... All this lot's done on an iPhone 7, so there's no editing involved because I can't be bothered with it. But now, if you want to know how, just just ask me, and I'll do it for you, hopefully. Yeah, I'm hoping some of you lot will tell me how much a ultra brolly is worth. It's got all the storm piles, just hasn't got the front. It's just the brolly. It's car key. So I'm hoping some of you lot will help me out a bit, maybe. Dunno. See what happens. But I think I've been waffling on enough now. Just about to go and do a Facebook live, maybe, if I can be bothered. See how many more of these I can get down my neck. So, alright. Yeah, if you want to know anything else, just give, just ask me and I'll help you out where I can. Like, I've been carping for, what now? Started when I was 14 and I'm 30 in November. It's been a while. 
but um, I'm getting married in September and I've got the stag do at Cromwell Lake in Nottinghamshire. Me and four of my mates go in for 48 hours. So it might be a video then, I don't know. But I will, you will surely find out when I do one. So I have to say, DNA Bates t shirts, comfy, very comfy. I like to have a bit of bagginess to them, so I've got the 2XL and there's plenty of room. But yeah, and it's actually quite tidy in here for a change. Oh uh, yeah, another thing. Got, one of, got myself one of these here do for things. The Ridge Monkey Joppers. As far as I'm aware, you load your boilies into there and you get your top bit. Put that in there like so. And then you push it up with your lid shut. School bearer. Then you open the lid and pour it out. That's as far as I'm aware. Actually, be the first test. We'll use it now. Move the cow keys out of the way. I don't know what I'm going to use these half baits for, but yeah, no mind. Let's have a look and see what's going on there. For an ancient, wherever they slot, one, two, three, four. Well, I can't chuck and count, can I? Right, that's all the tubes. Well, all right, we'll fill them up. No, so it's 5, 10, 15, 20. Right, you get 30 baits in that. Lid shut, look. The all important lid bit shut. So, I'll try it and see what it goes like. And then go. Oh, you bugger. I think that's done it. Where's another tub? Oh, I've got another bucket tub there. Oh, yeah. One of them. Never again. Um, where's my book is? Right, I'll pour it back straight back into that one. Right, let's have a look. Let's see how well it's chopped them first. Well, it's obviously done so much, it's empty. Let's have a look at them. Where are they? Hmm. And that's the small chopper, and it's done. I don't know whether you can see. There we go. It's done a fairly good job. If you catapult, if you want to catapult them out, it's the way forward. First time I've used it. That's handy. Uh, another thing for you lot. Night takes. Self takes at night. Get your send. One of them. When it decides to work. Sometimes I've got to jiggle my batteries about. It's a fish eye. Ooh, no. Yeah, that's it working. And it's off. On, off. Yeah, you've got your on off switch there. And then you've got like a brightness thing here. And then what I do, wherever I put it, where I put it. I'll get a 20 inch bank stick, tighten that bit down, push that into the floor, screw that onto the top of there, like so. So, I've got a light when I'm doing self takes a car, but not that I don't catch, because I'm utterly useless. Will you stop messing about with your alarms, mate? But yeah, 
I'm only doing these videos just to help people out, not to get free stuff from anyone. I'm not bothered about that. I'm just here just for the enjoyment of it and helping other anglers out. Chuffing Tufty off of the spot. Marvellous. But yeah, right, anyway, I'm going to bugger off. And I'll leave you all to it, and I'll see you again next month, hopefully. Ta-ta for now.